everyone, I'm Cool as Ice Makeup, and I'm going to do a pastel pink makeup tutorial. Before we get started, I had a coffee this morning. Spring is coming up. I love the spring weather. Pastels are really popular, so it's perfect for that time. I chose pink because it's my favorite color, and pastel pink looks pretty. This look is use can be used for every day enough chit chat let's get started i primed both eyes off camera with the beauty runway eye primer mm, one no wait can't speak while i wait for the eye primer to dry i took the beauty runway brow pencil that matches my brows you can only get beauty runway as a holiday gift set at Walmart. To blend out that pencil, I took the e.l.f. Brow Comb and Brush. All the makeup that I'll be using will be in the description below. To set the eye primer, I took the Wet n Wild Brule Eyeshadow. A review is coming soon. The palette that I'm using is the Glam White Ice Cream Dream Palette with all the beautiful pastels for a transition shade i'm taking the shade orange cream to break up that pastel pastels are great for the daytime they are light and sometimes they are sheer once I'm happy with the pigment for the transition shade, I'm going to take a Q-tip, just use Fluffy to me, and blend. For the actual crease, I'm taking the shade Bubblegum, which is a bubblegum pink. That is beautiful. I'm filming in natural light. It might seem weird, but it's the best light as possible. Once I'm happy, I'm going to blend. Okay, awesome. And for a little lash line, I'm taking the shade Red Velvet. A light layer because this is pigmented. Once I'm happy, I'm going to blend. Pink is such a girly color, and I look good in pink. My sweater, if I can stand up, is from Aeropostel a long time ago. I had it for five years, and it's amazing. And... My headband is from Forever 21 a few years ago, and I'm going to be right back. For the lid, the exciting part, I'm taking the shade Mochi, which seems very light. Hoping that I don't get fallout. Pastels are in for makeup. They are beautiful. Making sure that I get an even coat because it's a light eyeshadow. The reason why I chose the... I'll be right back. Okay, I am back. My camera just shut off. The reason why I chose the Grand Light Ice Cream Green palette is because they have pastel tones and the pink caught my eye. So that was the reason. The last eyeshadow I'm going to take is French Vanilla on my inner corner and brow bone using my middle finger. Holy crap, that is pigmented. I'm going to clean up the eye look and apply some mascara, and I'm going to be right back. Okay, I am back. Mascara is on. Eyes are complete. For blush, I'm taking the Maybelline Fit Me Blush and Buff, and I'm going to use a cheap brush that came with a makeup gift set onto the apples of my cheeks. This blush is very neutral, so 
it pairs up with any I look right or neutral. I'm applying a little bit of blush. Okay, awesome. For lips, I'm taking the CoverGirl O Sugar Lip Balm and Cupcake. It looks like a lipstick. Here is the completed makeup look. I use the, ice, the Glam Light Ice Cream Dream Palette. I took orange cream as a transition shape to blend the pinks together. I took bubble gum on the crease. I took red velvet on the little lash line, that coral. I took mochi on the lid and I took French Vanilla on the inner corner and brow bone. And I added a neutral blush and the lips are neutral. This is perfect for spring. This is also great for Easter because Easter is coming soon and I love Easter. So stay tuned for more reviews and eye looks. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.